without bail and behind bars, sits a woman who once freely roamed around her home filming her family in front of up to 2.3 million subscribers. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're looking at the most horrible mothers, stepmothers, and caregivers that had their deplorable actions recorded on camera. While this was happening, the victim was crying and pleading for his mother to stop. Jordan Cheyenne. Parenting influencers who featured their kids online is a controversial subject, but Cheyenne went several steps further in 2021. She revealed a video showing her son reacting to their puppy sadly losing its life. <laughs> However, she accidentally included footage of her coaching her son on how to look sad, even though he was clearly upset anyway. Act like you're crying really quick. I am crying. Cheyenne wanted him to be more dramatic. As you can imagine, the backlash was huge. Cheyenne released apology videos, but many saw them as insincere and bizarre as she plugged her content. It's so wrong. I should have never done that. Looking back at the footage, I'm so disgusted with myself. She also stated that she had deleted her YouTube channel. However, several months later, she returned to the platform and continued releasing content before going inactive. Quayla Ann Society tells us that you should love your child unconditionally and not be critical of them over something trivial like their looks. Well, Anne didn't listen to that message. In 2019, she did a Facebook Live video with her son. However, rather than being wholesome, cute content, she instead insulted the kid's appearance. Ooh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, let him grow up to be handsome. Because right now, I'm just, he, he not feeling it. Anne called him variations of the word ugly stating her biggest fear was having such a baby. My biggest fear was having an ugly baby. Now look. She also compared him to the characters from the 2004 film Alien vs. Predator. Then Anne likely saw the comments and decided to refer to him as the slightly less offensive but more patronizing, funny-looking. Unsurprisingly, viewers were outraged at Anne's callous comments. I'm not ugly, and I wasn't an ugly baby. He's funny looking. Sierra Hibbert. In 2022, police arrived at a highway in Byron, Georgia, after reports of a car driving erratically. <laughs> Traffic stop car attack caught on camera. And it was only going to get worse. Other vehicles had been maneuvered to block the offending car driven by Hibbert. This portion of video shows when witnesses tried to block the SUV from driving away as officers arrived on the scene there. But after the cops spoke to her, she tried to escape. Hibbert slammed into several vehicles, even hitting people. After driving over stop sticks and deflating a tire, she sped off with the cops in pursuit causing even more damage along the way. Eventually, the police managed to force her to stop. Yet, what made this reckless behavior even more outrageous was Hibbert had a child in her car. Amazingly, as she was getting arrested, Hibbert claimed she didn't do it. I didn't do anything you guys are talking about. No. And you just wrecked three police cars. No, I did not. Because and a couple others. Yulia Starosuk. It's heartbreaking. You see this, this child unable to do anything, unable to defend himself. Doorbell cameras can be useful when getting a delivery or making the residence more secure. Or as one neighbor in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida discovered in 2023, it can document a grim crime. One evening, Starosuk was recorded outside a neighbor's apartment with her son. During it, she pushed him on the floor stopped him from getting up, and struck him several times. The boy was left with several wounds as a result. After being arrested, what justification did Starosa give for doing this dreadful deed? She claimed the boy was being difficult as he wanted to go to a playground. And it was uh, the uh, only one incident where I uh, let my emotions took a took better of me. The terrible mother is set to face her two counts of felony abuse at a hearing in later 2024. Rabia Mubali. In 2024, police arrived at an apartment in Fairborn, Ohio, after a report that a child was struggling to breathe. All right, let's go in. Fairborn police. 
Upon entering the residence, there was a lot to deal with, as their shock can be heard in the body cam footage. Oh my god. Oh. Come on. Inside the filthy apartment, they found the malnourished toddler covered in bed bug bites, only weighing 16 pounds. Thankfully, she was breathing, albeit weakly, and was rushed to the hospital. The cops arrested the child's mother, Rabia Mubali, who had made the initial report. Is there any way you could cuff me in the front? I have spinal problems and this really hurts. In July, after pleading no contest to felony assault and child endangerment, Mubali was sentenced to seven to ten and a half years in jail. Monique Osuna Emmerich Osuna had a rough start to life. After his mother was sent to jail for abusing her children, he went to live with his father, Eric, and his stepmom, Monique, in Boise, Idaho. But sadly, he wasn't safe. Monique subjected Emmerich to horrible abuse, much of which was recorded on nanny cameras throughout the residence. He was starved, beaten, and made to do strenuous physical labor, all while his father did nothing. Several months into this, Emmerich passed away. His nine-year-old Emmerich Osuna was laid to rest in Santa Ana today. His father and stepmother from Meridian, Idaho, remain behind bars on unimaginable charges. His father got a friend to remove the cameras, but they were recovered by the police. Prosecutors accused the boy's father, 29-year-old Eric Osuna, of allowing his son to be in her custody, knowing she was doing this, saying he chose not to seek medical attention for the injuries. They also claim he hid surveillance video to prevent it from being used in the investigation. Eric and Monique were arrested for the terrible ordeal. In 2022, Monique and Eric pleaded guilty to murder and were sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. The last time Irene Zapata saw her nephew Emmerich Osuna was on Christmas Day a few years ago. Emmerich was always loving. He was one of those kids that always liked to get hugged and kissed and he liked to watch his cartoons. Alexis Avila I regret that I had to miss out on every first milestone the baby had and that I deprived him of motherly love. In 2022, three people were looking through a dumpster in Hobbs, New Mexico for valuables. Instead, they found a trash bag containing a dirty towel with a living newborn. After authorities were informed, they examined CCTV footage. Six hours before the people arrived, Avila was seen throwing the black bag into the dumpster. After her arrest, Avila stated that she sought medical help after getting pain where she discovered she was pregnant. The next day, Avila gave birth. Claiming she panicked, Avila drove around with her son in the bag until she saw the dumpster. It is an unforgivable event by any mother. In 2023, she was sentenced to between 16 and 18 years in jail for attempted murder and abuse. You've given yourself a life sentence. You've given yourself a life sentence of knowing what you did with your child. And you've also given your son that same life sentence. However, Avila was released pending the outcome of her appeal. Agnesha Kalinowska In 2020, Sebastian Kalinowski left his father, Yatsik, to move to Huddersfield, England to live with his mother, Agnesha Kalinowska, and her partner, Andrei Ladyshevsky. Not long after, the terror started. The duo used any petty excuse to beat Sebastian, with the abuse captured on the couple's home security cameras. Sebastian was a young, teenage boy who spoke little, if any, English. He had neither friends nor allies in this country. Most of the physical damage was done by Ladyshevsky. Kalinovska did nothing to help and showed no sign that she cared. There is scarcely a day that goes by that Sebastian is not subjected to some form of physical abuse. Whenever they left the house, Sebastian was forced to stay in his bedroom as the couple watched through their cell phone. In 2021, Sebastian sadly passed away from the injuries. In 2022, Kalinovska and Ladyshevsky were sentenced to a minimum of 39 years in jail. The murder of Sebastian Kalinovsky was of such exceptional seriousness that the starting point for sentence is our whole life order. Pamela Ganzel. A Sunrise mother didn't answer our questions after bonding out of jail Thursday night. In 2023, one household in Sunrise, Florida caught far more than they expected on their surveillance cameras when a woman named Pamela Ganzel pulled over in her SUV and opened the back door. She yanked her son from the car, then the booster seat, which struck him on the legs. 
Ganzel put him back, then dragged the child out once more. Next, she began throwing out items from the back seat, causing the upset boy to retrieve them. Throughout, Ganzel slapped her child. While this was happening, the victim was crying and pleading for his mother to stop. All of this was apparently sparked by the kid undoing his seatbelt. After police investigated and found the boy had marks on him, Ganzel was arrested and charged. She claimed she was only spanking him for discipline. Neighbors in the area still shocked. My parents need to be punished. That's, that's, that's nothing good. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Ruby Frankie Without bail and behind bars sits a woman who once freely roamed around her home filming her family in front of up to 2.3 million subscribers. In 2023, after escaping a house in Utah, an emaciated and wounded boy with duct tape on him was recorded on a neighbor's doorbell camera asking them for help. I just had a 12-year-old boy show up here at my front door asking for help. When the authorities arrived, they found a sibling in similar conditions at the residence where they lived with their mother, Frankie. She had been the face of the 8 Passengers YouTube channel, which she deleted in 2022 after controversy over her parenting methods. She then began working with an associate, Jody Hildebrand, on another YouTube channel, Connections. Frankie had subjected her children to abuse and neglect, often leaving them to fend for themselves for days. I was so disoriented that I believed dark was light and right was wrong. In 2024, Frankie was sentenced to four charges, receiving a maximum of 30 years altogether. Have you ever video recorded something disturbing on a doorbell camera, a cell phone, or CCTV? Let us know below what you captured. On May 1st, the teen was then sentenced to 16 years.